The uh, name Shaq Lawson's identifiable, of course, for most it should be. Uh, so he's got a little brother who's coming up through the ranks, correct? Yeah, Clemson offered Shaq Lawson's little brother last night. Um, Jaheim Lawson, he's a 2022 defensive end out of nearby Daniel. Had a monster senior season. Um, was the MVP of one of the All Star games here in South Carolina. I can't remember which one he played in, but um. Yeah, he, he had a big senior season, but fans are already up in arms because he's a low three-star guy. I think he doesn't even rate in the top 1,000 or something like that. I, I Probably 99% of those people have not even cut on the film and watched it. And if you would do that, you would see there's a lot to like about this guy, man. He's six foot four. He's 230 pounds. You know, the defensive end that Clemson had committed, yeah, he was a top 100 guy. He was a high four-star or whatever. But he was 215 pounds. He certainly wasn't a plug-and-play guy. I mean, it's not like he was going to be seeing the field and contributing at a big level next year. He was going to need a year to develop, just like Lawson's going to need a year to develop. Um, I just – I kind of, you know, can, seeing where Clemson's at right now, I like this take. I don't, I don't think this is like a desperation-type move at all. I think that he worked out for the coaching staff in June back at one of Dabo Sweeney's high school camps. So he's been on the radar all along. And after the season he had, I, I'm really not surprised at all that he was the next guy they turned to as soon as G.I. Campbell decommitted. I'm not surprised at all. So is there anything else out there between uh, now and February that we can uh, anticipate? You know, Clemson still after – Trevor Etienne because they, they they need to add a running back. They want to add the defensive end, and they would like to add a corner and a safety too, and and um maybe an offensive lineman. They've actually been scouring the portal looking for a lineman. They they tried to get on the Virginia, the guy the transfer from Virginia that's leaving Virginia. I can't even pronounce his name. I think his last name's Ogleson. It's a, it's a hard name to say, but Olu Ogleson or something like that. I can't remember, but I think he's going to end up at Michigan. There's another grad transfer in the portal from, uh, from interior offensive lineman from Cornell. I think Clemson might be trying to get in on. So it, it seems like they want to, you know, bring in a – They both of them are center. Both of them are being looked at to play center. So they, it seems like they want to bring in an experienced center so they don't have some of the same issues maybe they had this year at that position. But as far as specific players in high school Clemson's going to target before February – it's hard to say right now outside of Lawson. Um, I think between now, right now, there's a no contact period in place. I think they're going to use that to do a lot of vetting when that's over. Then, then we'll start to see the direction they start to head, you know, maybe a corner and maybe a safety. But until then, it, it, it I just don't think there's going to be a lot coming out. I take calls and questions every day from all sorts of fan bases. And the one that uh, comment that I've heard, with all this talk about the transfer portal all over the place when it comes to Dabo Sweeney and Clemson, and, and I don't confirm it, I don't knock it down, I want to hear from you first, but Dabo obviously had some things to say about the transfer portal a long time ago about not necessarily, we don't want to build this program on the transfer portal, and maybe they got taken and, and stretched out of uh, proportion, but uh, he's obviously engaged in the transfer portal to a certain extent. Yeah, he's not a fan. Of, he, he's he's not a fan. It's not that he's not a fan of the portal. He's not a fan of this new rule of being able to transfer with no penalty. He's made no bones about that. You know, he thinks players can just up and leave and, and they don't even think about it, you know, you know, without even taking time to think about it. And, you know, he's a big education guy and he thinks education is getting lost in all this, but you know, he's maintained for a couple of years now that he's, not necessarily against recruiting the transfer portal. He just doesn't think he's had to yet. And, and I can kind of see where he's coming from. Nobody expected Clemson to have the kind of injuries they had last year. I know people wanted them to look at a quarterback, you know, to bring in a backup quarterback behind DJ because there wasn't a lot of depth. But nobody before the season started was talking about Clemson needing to bring in a quarterback to compete with DJ. And now that's all you hear. They should have brought in a quarterback to compete with DJ. Nobody saw that coming. I mean, if there was one position, I think they could have used the portal to shore up. It was center. You know, they came in with some questions at center. Other than that, I, I thought the roster was in good shape. You know, they just got devastated by injuries. But, again, 
Davo Sweeney's never said he's against recruiting the transfer portal. He has always said he prefers to recruit high school kids and develop them, and that if there was a unexpected loss or or a need arose, yeah, sure, and there was the right fit out there, he'd go to the portal and bring in a transfer. I mean, he's brought in two or three transfers to Clemson since he's been at Clemson, so he's not against bringing in transfers. I can tell you he does, just does not like the rule regarding the the penalty-free transfer.